Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we join the whole church, and particularly the community of the Opus Dei, in celebrating the feast day of St. Jose Maria Escriva. Today, we are reminded of the holiness that we are called to we celebrate the gift of our faith and our lord jesus asks us how we can also share the gift of holiness and faith to others in this mass also we include the soul of our former president benigno aquino the third may our lord grant him eternal rest and so, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, 
have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who raised up your priest, St. Jose Maria, in the church to proclaim the universal call to holiness and the apostolate, grant that by his intercession and example, we may, through our daily work, be formed in the likeness of Jesus, your Son, and serve the work of redemption with burning love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Romans. Brothers and sisters, those who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you receive a spirit of adoption through whom we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit Himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ, if only we suffer with Him, so that we may also be glorified with Him. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, all you peoples. Praise the Lord, all you peoples. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord, who said to me, You are my son, today I am your father. Praise the Lord, all you peoples. Only ask it of me, and I will make your inheritance the nations, your possession the ends of the earth. With an iron rod you shall shepherd them, like a clay pot, you will shatter them. Praise the Lord, all you peoples. And now, kings, give heed. Take warning, rulers on earth. Serve the Lord with fear. With trembling, bow down in homage. Praise the Lord, all you peoples. Lest God be angry and you perish from the way in a sudden blaze of anger. Happy are all who take refuge in God. Praise the Lord, all you peoples. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While the crowd was pressing in on Jesus and listening to the word of God, he was standing by the lake of Gennesaret. He saw two boats there alongside the lake. The fishermen had disembarked and were washing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, he asked him to put out a short distance from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. 
after he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into deep water and lower your nets for a catch. Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and have caught nothing, but at your command, I will lower the nets. When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish, and their nets were tearing. They signaled to their partners in the other boat to come to help them. They came and filled both boats, so that the boats were in danger of sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus and said, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For astonishment at the catch of fish they had made seized him and all those with him, and likewise James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners of Simon. Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching men. When they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and followed him. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. I recently came across the video of the visit of Blessed Alvaro here in the Philippines. It was uploaded on the internet. It was 1987, I think. I was one year old at that time. And as I was watching the, the video of Blessed Alvaro speaking in PICC, he recounted to the people there how Saint Jose Maria thought about the Philippines. It was a very rare sharing for me. I have been I have read some of his messages or heard about his messages, but it was rare that uh, uh, I heard about what Saint Jose Maria said about the Philippines. And Blessed Alvaro told the people at that time in PICC, he said, even in the early 30s, Saint Jose Maria was already thinking about coming here, of planting the seed of Opus Dei here in the country. And he said, Whenever he meets Filipinos, Saint Jose Maria would tell that Filipino, he would say that Filipinos are the bastion of faith. The strength of faith here in the Far East. He would say that the Filipinos received the faith here in this place. And that is why we are the vanguard, the bastion, the strength of faith here in the Orient. And I think, my dear brothers and sisters, as Blessed Alvaro also reminded the people of the words of Saint Jose Maria, that to whom much is given, much is also demanded. The one who received much should also give much. I think this year, the 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines, with the theme gifted to give, we are able to see, just like how St. Jose Maria saw the Filipino people, our own giftedness. And this great gift that we receive 
should also be given as our gift to others. So today, I think the challenge for this feast day is first to recognize how gifted we are, to recognize the gift that God has given us, and how we, in turn, can also share that gift. This was the experience of the apostles in our gospel passage today. If we would look closely at the experience of the apostles, they were gifted much. Kung titingnan po nating mabuti ang kwento sa Ebanghelyo, una, sila po ay biniyayaan. They have not caught anything. But when Jesus came, He said, Lower your nets. And then they even called other people to help them because the nets were tearing. That is how abundant the gift of God is to them. After blessing them with this abundant gift of fish, Jesus then calls them to share that gift. Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. That is what St. Jose Maria is telling us. The one who receives much should also give much. In the story of the Gospel, we have heard they have received a lot of fish. But immediately after that, according to the Gospel story, when they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything. They have just received the fish, but they were able to leave everything for Jesus. They have received much, but they have also given much. What is the gift that we have received? How can we share this to others? And for St. Jose Maria, the gift that we receive is our work. Ordinary work. Our ordinary day-to-day -day life, whatever we are doing, is God's gift. And therefore, we can share it to others. For those who uh, are joining us today who are uh, members or uh, uh, followers of the spirituality of uh, Saint Jose Maria, and for also those also who are watching us online. What is the gift of your community that you can share with the church? What is your giftedness? Let me share to you. I don't know if all of you already know this, but uh, the Opus Dei community has uh, shared to us something for the new Archbishop. If you would look at the Cathedra of uh, Cardinal Advincula, the new seats, the cushion, and the uh, the new uh, seats of the deacons, they were made by Daynar. I'm sure you're fa the, the members of the Opus Dei here are familiar with Miss Fina and her uh, team. They may look ordinary. Father, those are just seats. But they are gifts. The talent of doing it. The ability to do all those. They are gifts. They may look ordinary. You may, have you may have not noticed it, but it is a gift from God. And you are able to share it. If you enter our sacristy, 
Some Opus Dei priests would come here to the cathedral and when they entered the sacristy, they would say, this looks familiar. And I would tell them, this, uh, the sacristy is denarized <laughs> because it was Father Alex Bautista of good memory who also designed this, Father Alex, who was also a, uh, a follower of the spirituality of uh, St. Jose Maria. The work that God has given us, even our day-to-day -day work, is already a big gift, a great gift coming from God. We should identify it and then share it to others. Our first reading today from the letter of Paul to the Romans tell us that the gift that we have received is the gift of the Spirit of God. And when we have received this gift of the Spirit of adoption, we are able to say to God, Father, and then the Spirit strengthens us, empowers us to bear witness as heirs of God, as children of God. The gift of God to us is the Spirit working in our lives so that we could become children and as children, we are able to bear witness to others of the life of, child, of the children of God. My dear brothers and sisters, this year, as we celebrate the feast day of St. Jose Maria, in the midst of our celebrations of the 500 years of Christianity, remember that Early on, St. Jose Maria was able to recognize the giftedness of the Filipino people. The gift of faith, the gift of family, the gift of work, and how holiness can pervade work, family, and our lives in the church. I hope that through the help of St. Jose Maria, we also are able to recognize our giftedness. What is our gift that we have received? Our work, our faith, our family, our community. And how can we share this great gift that God, that God has given us to others. As we continue the celebration of the Mass, let us ask the Spirit to enlighten us so that through the inspiration of the Spirit, we can recognize the gift of God and then we are able to witness to that great gift. Amen. Please stand. My brothers and sisters, in this solemn Eucharistic celebration through the intercession of Saint Jose Maria Escriba, let us ask God, the Almighty Father, to pour forth grace continually into our hearts. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Holy Catholic Church, sign and instrument of universal salvation, that the Holy Spirit may conserve her in unity and reinforce her in the faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Holy Father, Pope Francis, that he may be always filled with the wisdom, consolation, and strength of the Holy Spirit, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Jose Cardinal Advincola 
and Bishop Broderick Pabillo, his assistant bishop, and for the prelate of Opus Dei, Monsignor Fernando Ocaris, that they may strive with untiring love to spread the kingdom of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prelature of Opus Dei, that all its faithful priests and laity and its cooperators may seek the fullness of Christian holiness and apostolate in the middle of the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who suffer in any way, the sick, the lonely, the homeless, the unemployed, and vic victims of injustice, that they may receive the consolation and assistance of Christ's love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, Heavenly Father, you chose Saint Jose Maria Escriba to found Opus Dei, a way of sanctification in daily work and in the fulfillment of the Christian's ordinary duties. Hear the prayers that with filial trust we direct to you and grant us the grace to fulfill always your most lovable will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Holy Father, accept these gifts that we offer in memory of Saint Jose Maria, so that through the sacrifice offered by Christ on the altar of the cross and made present here in this sacrament, you may graciously sanctify all that we do. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Jose Maria, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of His holy life. Teach her by His words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to His prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end, we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, Broderick, his assistant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Jose Maria, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please all kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please all stand. Let us pray. O Lord our God, may the mysteries we have received in this celebration of St. Jose Maria strengthen in us the spirit of adoption as your children so that in faithful adherence to your will, we may advance joyfully along the path of holiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We would like to thank all those who have joined us in this celebration of the feast day of St. Jose Maria. This is the second year that uh, the community of Opus Dei um, have not uh, has not gathered in this uh, cathedral for their yearly feast day but uh, let us not allow this pandemic to hinder us to holiness and in fact we are called even in this time of pandemic to recognize our giftedness recognize the gifts that we have received so that in turn we could also share much 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.